How's it going, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between? My name is Dakota of The Weird. This is our first album series, at least on this channel, and I'm pretty excited for it because this is literally my favorite band we're talking about here. And yes, of course, I'm talking of no other band than I don't know how, but they found me. They had announced their sophomore album, which is titled Gloom Division, and that is said to be released February 23rd, which is pretty soon. I'm not even gonna lie, just a few months away. I'm really excited, it's super awesome. They have dropped so many hints for this album over the past few months, teasing the absolute hell out of it. But what caught me the most off guard when it came to the lore was something that Dallin added to the description of the album. And it reads like this. Gloom Division are a secretive and enigmatic group operating within the shadows of the Telex Corporation. Specializing in the occult, only a select few are ever permitted to learn of their existence. Despite their shadowy and whispered reputation, they remain fiercely loyal to Telex and will stop at nothing to protect the company's interest. Gloom Division is also a way to refer to those who may feel alone and disconnected from the people and the world around them. Now, doesn't that sound kind of like the government's idea of the Illuminati? That's, that's what immediately came to my brain so i'm thinking maybe we're gonna go along the lines of that and regards to the most recent hint at the music video it's in black and white i think we're gonna go to like a 40s 50s vibe rather than the 70s and 80s like he did with 1981 extended play and of course razzmatazz this is a band that is very obscure especially when it comes to time and their placement in said time but it all ties into the lore, and it's, 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 it's fucking insane. They teased the absolute hell out of this for a very long time. This book excerpt that they put on their socials got all kinds of people excited. They thought the song was going to drop that night. I mean, understandably, I mean, look at it. But, of course, it didn't happen, and it happened literally six minutes ago. The more I'm talking about it, the more I just want to go in and listen to it, but I have to, I have to get all these words out. This is the album cover, which I think is outrageously awesome super cool super cool i don't even know what to think about it it's just like super cool i was low-key expecting there to be words on the album cover but i mean it's not required so but i don't know i just kind of expected it to have words but it didn't so that's cool the track list is pretty interesting as well it's got 12 songs just like razzmatazz did hopefully two of the tracks will be just straight lore, like in Razzmatazz. Hopefully, maybe, just a thought. But the track list is Downside, Bloomtown Brats, Infatuation, What Love, S-P-K-O-T-H-D-V-L. I'm not exactly sure how you would pronounce that, but we'll find out eventually when the song comes out. Six Foot, which is explicit. Dallin, are you okay? Find Me, Kiss and Tell, a Letter, which is a Brobeck song, that's gonna be exciting as fuck. Satanic Panic, Sunnyside, featuring Will Joseph Cook, and Idiots of Oz. These are some very, very awesome titles, and they're all in all caps. I don't know if that's gonna be of any significance. Maybe it's just the way he decided to do it, but it's still interesting. Like, everything about this album so far, at least as far as I've seen, is different than anything I don't know how has done before. Now, don't get me wrong, they're a relatively new band, so they haven't done much, but still, I'm seeing a lot of creative differences in regards to the sounds of each album, the way they look and stuff like that. It's very interesting. I'm loving the diversity. But enough of this bullcrap, all right, we're done. We're done talking about it. We're going to go straight into the first song, which just came out like 10 minutes ago. It's called What Love, and it's got a whole music video and everything. We're about to go straight into that, and we're going to watch the whole thing, and we're going to talk about what we think about it. So here it is, What Love by I Don't Know How But They Found Me, the lead single off their sophomore album, Gloom Division. Let's fucking go. Damn! I'm loving this vibe already. Was that a drag queen? That's a drag queen. I love that. 
All right. Okay. 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 Interesting. Interesting. I'm... I don't know what to think about the music video. I love the vibes, don't get me wrong. The vibes was awesome. But I don't know how it would tie into the lore. I heard something on the on the subreddit. It said something about Gloom Division not having anything to do with the Telex lore. But obviously that was proven wrong by Dallin himself. But I don't know where this video would tie in. But this was such an awesome song. I love the vibes. This is my favorite band. That's another thing about I don't know how but they found me. They always, and I mean like always, keep you on your toes when it comes to music. You never know what to expect when it comes to them. And that's just, that's awesome. The obscurity, the element of surprise, it's all always there. You never know what to expect from this band. And that's something I really, really love about them. Oh man. Oh man. Overall, that was a great song. Great video. Oh my stars. I cannot wait to hear more. It's gonna be fucking awesome. I'm shaking my hands because I'm like super, super excited. I don't know what to do with myself right now. I'm like, oh man. Although, okay, I'm not gonna sit here and say that I'm gonna start critiquing the song. But I'm not gonna lie, there are a couple songs in Razzmatazz that I think have this song beat, Razzmatazz of course being one of them. At least when it comes to my vibes. I don't know, I pers I like exciting music, and while this is pretty exciting, it's like not like exciting exciting. It's like a... It's almost got like a psychedelic vibe, which is cool as fuck, it's just not... 100% something I'd listen to. Now, don't get me wrong, this is my favorite band. Like, I love everything about this band. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna listen to every single song that they have. For example, Need You Here? Well, that is a fucking awesome song. I can't relate to it. I have no connection to that song at all. And I like to listen to songs that I relate to. Um, I hope I'm not the only person here who makes that statement. But... Still, this song just keeps me, like, curious. It keeps me curious. It keeps me thinking, this song sounds like this. So what does the rest of the album sound like? And I know Dallin has a very obscure and very wide range in sounds between albums. The one common factor is the bass being the lead instrument. And even then, that's not always the case even though it is like 90% of the time. But that's something else I love about the band. The bass guitar is my favorite instrument. So I'm just over here like hee hee hee, big loud bass. It keeps me wishing for more. Like, hurry up and release the album already. I wanna know everything. So anyway, that was the song What Love by I Don't Know How But They Found Me off their new album Gloom Division. And again, that will be out February 23rd, so that's when we're gonna get, that's when we're gonna start getting most of my, the videos that I'm gonna be making about this album. But bet your ass I'm gonna be making other videos regarding reactions to the singles that come out, and if there's a lore update, I may post a video about that. Although I think I'm gonna wait to do the lore video until after the album's out. I don't fucking know. I don't plan that far ahead. But this was this, and that was that, and that was fucking awesome. Let me know what you guys think about the song in the comment section. Let me know what your thoughts on the song are. What your thoughts on the video of the song are. All that. And if you like my content, be sure to hit the like button and maybe even the subscribe button if you think I'm cool enough. But yeah, more Gloom Division content coming out. Be ready, have your hopes up, these things, are, this is going to be super awesome and we're going to be right there throughout the entire journey. So make sure that you stay up to date with us and um, yeah, that being said, I will see all of you beautiful people in the next video. See ya fuckers!